This is the King Kakoda hotspot chair from Oztent. While I'm sitting in this one, the campfire's keeping my front side warm, this chair's keeping my back side warm. Let's tell you all about it. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here today and I've got with me the Oztent King Kakoda hotspot chair. And this is pretty much the same as their King Kakoda chair and it's got little pouches where you can zip a heated or a cooled pouch, like a wheat bag into it, to keep you warm during the winter and cool during the summer. I packed up, measures about 96 centimeters in length by 28 centimeters by 24 centimeters and they weigh about six kilos. They come in this nice durable carry bag. I'm gonna take it out and show you how to set it up. Now, before you fold the chair out, you need to release these two little clips here, which is at the base of the arms. They clip onto the leg and it just holds it all in place when it's folded up. So if we just unclip those, they come loose from this little kind of um, lug on the leg here. Once you've unclipped them, we can pull the chair into place. So once we've got the chair mostly in place here, we need to do these clips up again. There's another one of these notches up the top here, same as the ones down the bottom. Uh, and we need to push this clip over the top of that to hold it in place. To do that, we can put a little bit of pressure on top of this section here, just to get the arm in place, and then slide those clips over the top. We do that on each side. So that's the chair almost set up. Last thing we want to do is grab our bag and give it a bit of a fold. And we can actually put this in the top of the chair here. There's a little zippered section. We put the bag in here, does two things. Ensures we don't lose the bag for starters. And that also acts as a bit of a headrest. And while I'm standing next to it, we'll talk about the dimensions of the chair. It's about 110 centimeters high to this point here, 65 centimeters wide to the outside of the arms and about 60 centimeters deep. In terms of the, the seated area here, it's about 50 centimeters high to the front, but obviously that sags down when you sit in it at the back here, so a little bit less than 50. It's about 45 centimeters deep and about 45 centimeters wide. Here. In terms of what the chair is made of, uh, this is a 600 denier padded polyester. There's actually about a centimetre or so of padding throughout here. The bag, carry bag that we've put in the top here is also a 600 denier polyester. Moving down to the arms, this section here is, uh, is a hammertone um, aluminium arm with plastic caps on the end. And there's a hammertone powder coated steel frame on here and it's all held together with a durable plastic components holding it all together. In terms of the features of the chair, let's start on this side here. Um, there's some storage on each side. This is a, just a little uh, mesh pocket, two little mesh pockets there, one with a Velcro closure on it. And uh, that's just backed by the same 600 denny polyester. If we have a look on the other side, a couple more pouches. This is a little insulated um, drink holder, I suppose. You can quite easily fit a can or a stubby in there. Uh, and just another little padded pouch, uh, pocket knives, mobile phones, um, whatever you like. Also made of the same 600 denny polyester. Now one of the other cool features of this chair is this strap here. Now this strap features on both sides and there's a, a, um, a tri-glide buckle here. Now that's a lumbar support. So we can adjust those. I'll sit in it shortly and show you how easy it is to adjust. If we tighten these, it gives us more support in the lower back. Now before I sit in the chair and show you how comfortable it is, I want to talk about the hotspot feature of these chairs. Now this is the, the Oztent hotspot pouch. Now you can use these to put in these pockets that are on the chair here. These are made to fit neatly in the pocket. They're about 12 centimetres by about 25 to 30 centimetres. You can fit any heat bag in these pockets that you like. It could be a wheat bag or a small hot water bottle. Now these, you can cool them down in the fridge to keep you cool during the summer, or um, you click this little metal um, disc in the top here and they heat up to keep you warm during the winter. So you can put up to four of these in this, this um, chair here. One here, one here. These are padded pouches with a silver lining on the back. And then in the bottom here, there's two more slots for pouches, one here and one here. So when you've got up to four heat bags or heat pouches in there, you've got heat at the front of the chair, in the middle of the chair, on the lower back, and also on the upper back here. I'm coming close, I wanna show you how this works. Now, these can be used up to 500 times. They give about an hour of heat each time you heat them up, and they're made with a non-toxic material inside, so they're quite safe to use. To activate it and to make it hot, this disc in the top here, it's got a bit of a curve in it. We need to give that a click. So I'm going to click this now and a chemical reaction is going to happen and, and this is going to heat up throughout. So we've just got to wait for this to occur. So let's check this out. And that is ready to put into one of the pockets to keep us warm or cool around the campfire. Now I'm going to have a sit in the chair and show you how comfortable it is. Now I'm six foot one. 
So sitting in this chair, I feel pretty comfortable. I sink, it, sink into it quite nicely. I don't feel any sharp points or anything digging into me. It's got good depth and good height at the front here. I can easily reach this lumbar support to give me a bit more support in the lower back if I like. Can easily access the pockets on the side. And the head height at the back here, it's a little bit low to keep my head looking forward. I can, if I lean my head back, I can look upwards and feel quite comfortable. Um, but it's just a little bit lower than the back of my head here. And these arms, for those who are a little bit um, um, challenged with mobility, um, this can be really good to lean on to get yourself up and out of the, out of the chair and like the soft arms. Last thing I want to do is show you how to pack it away. First thing we probably want to make sure we do is remove our hotspot pouches because we don't want to risk puncturing those while we're packing it up. Second thing is to take our carry bag out of the headrest here. Just put that aside for later and zip this one back up again. Looking at the back, we've got to unclip these arms again. So we just unfold these so they're loose and now we can fold the chair up. So just grabbing opposite corners, easing it closed, don't force it, it should just slide down easily. Squashing it all in closely, we can lay it down. And now we've got to clip these back onto our lugs at the bottom here. So make sure it goes over the leg, clips into place, and that is now ready to put back into our bag. That is a King Kokoda hotspot chair from Austin, all packed away in the bag. Now we're back in there pretty easily. If you do those clips up on the legs on the bottom, holds it all shut nice and neat. These are a great sturdy chair for a full drive touring, um, great for winter, keeping your back warm around the campfire, and also good for summer. You can grab them online at snowies.com.au at lowest prices every day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't disappear on us yet, folks. If you thought that was useful, why not subscribe to our channel so you get all the latest information or just give us a like. Let us know if you've got any questions in the comments below or if you'd like to see some of Austin's other chairs, check out some of these videos.